Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about how to get a mount. Now, until recently there have always been mount packs in the store. Today, there isn't. We have had two offers so far. One with one shard for 666 diamonds, which means the total cost of a mount would be 6,666 or 6,660, whatever. And we have also had another one where you can buy five shards for, I believe it was 2,800 diamonds and that just left the store a little while ago, so yesterday. There is only one really consistent way to get a mount, so besides relying on the store and diamonds, etc. And that is from the Warpath shop. So here you can spend 10 blood gems to get one shard, which means one full mount would cost 100 blood gems. You need to be level 55 before you can use a mount, and you can start doing Battle Royale at level 45, so that's when you should start saving them up, if you're not already past level 55. So the way you get Blood Gems is by going to Battle Royale, and fighting there. I am trying to save most of my tickets for when I have a mount, because you can get much more points, you can do much better with a mount. So that's why I have 11 out of 12 tickets. I do, of course, do at least the one or two battle royales I need to do so my tickets aren't getting wasted. But besides that, I'm trying to save as many as I can. So if you go into a battle royale and your team wins, you earn two blood gems. And even if you lose, you still get one. So eventually, after a while, you can get a mount. It would be 50 days to get a mount if you lose every single royale, and 25 days if you win all of them. Of course, it'll probably be somewhere in the middle, so 30 to 35 days, maybe up to 40, because it would be pretty unlucky to always be on the losing team. But yeah, sometimes it's like that. I am not sure right now if they will add mounts back to the store. I am hoping, because right now I have... 6 out of 10 mount shards, and 7 blood gems. Usually the mount packs come with blood gems, so if I were to say buy 3 packs, and they had 3 blood gems in there, I would have 10 blood gems and 9 shards, so I can get the last one from the Warpath shop. Now, if that doesn't happen, it's going to take me a very long time to get a mount, and that would kind of suck, because I really really want one, because they're so... OP, they are so overpowered in, in Battle Royale and Warpath, yeah, I can't even begin to explain. A mount versus a non-mount, dead, one, two hits, something like that, so yeah. But, let me see. So yeah, besides the store and besides the Warpath shop, there is no other way to get a mount right now. They do have a mount survey in the events before you choose a server. Uh, asking people what they think about the mounts, so depending on those results, they may change this, they may make them easier to get, uh, they may make them cheaper, so in the store, I can't tell yet, but we'll have to wait and see. I did almost forget to mention one thing, there is another way to get blood gems to buy the mount shards, oops, and that is through Warpath. So Warpath, depending on which one you're going for, you can get five... 10 and 20 blood gems from killing the boss there. I don't suppose this boss is easily killable. Honestly, I don't have much idea about what's going on in Warpath. Again, I'm waiting until I have a mount of my own for this because they can be used here and of course you're going to be very strong. I did hear from one of the guys on this server. He has another account in, a, in another server and they were doing Warpath and they weren't able to kill the boss, but they did get kind of close, but there was only, I think, one guy there with a mount, so it could be possible without mounts. Um, again, I'm not sure. It does cost three Battle Royale tickets to enter, so you are potentially risking six Blood Gems, three to six, to go in there. Uh, so if Blood Gems is your goal, might stick. I'm going to stick to Battle Royale mainly, and also the bidding. It can get very, very expensive as far as the guild development goes, because this works like Relic Rumble, so your guild has to put in development, and depending on how much the other guilds are putting in, you could use a lot of development for potentially not many rewards. 
yeah, that's actually about it. Not much else to say about mounts, how to get them, etc. When I do get one, I'm going to make a gameplay video for those that still don't have one. So, look forward to that if you want. Anyway, that's about it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I respond to all comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say, and will try and answer any questions you guys may have. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.